the makers of Alka-Seltzer, bring you Lum and Abner. You know, folks, I have an idea that some of the folks down in Pine Ridge are having the same trouble these days as a good many of us, trying to balance the family budget. And if that's the case with you, just listen to this. Did it ever occur to you that Alka-Seltzer can be one of the most helpful, economical household items you can buy? That's right. And here's why you'll find Alka-Seltzer so economical to use. Now, you wouldn't think of being without a headache remedy handy, would you? And you usually keep something on hand for that acid indigestion Dad has every now and then. Two, you know it's wise to be prepared for quick relief in cold distress and muscular aches and pains and fatigue. Well, listen, by keeping just one package of Alka-Seltzer tablets handy, you can be prepared for all of these discomforts. Yes, Alka-Seltzer actually offers quick, pleasant relief in all of these common ailments. Now, think what a saving that can mean. So we say no thrifty home can afford to be without a package of Alka-Seltzer tablets in the medicine cabinet. Get one from your druggist tonight or tomorrow, sure. And remember, the large size package is far more economical. And now, let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Uh, Little did Abner realize the trouble he was letting himself in for yesterday when he dressed the dummy up in women's clothes. Sister Simpson passed the store and saw him with his arms around the dummy and immediately reported to his wife Elizabeth that her husband was carrying on with another woman. As we look in on the little community today, we find Cedric and Abner down at the store. Listen. I ought to take that dress off of Mr. Dillbeck before it causes me any more trouble. I ought to have had more sense than to put it on him in the first place. Well, I think he looks just like a woman. Stand there with that sunbonnet on. Well, that's the trouble, Cedric. Looks too much like one. Might and I broke up my home is what he's done. Miss Peabody's still mad about it, huh? Mad? I had to sleep in the barn last night. Dad blame that sister Simpson. She's the one that caused the whole thing. See, when I put this dress on a dummy yesterday afternoon, why, I got to cutting up around here <laughs> Put my arms around it and acted like I was kissing it and all, <laughs> just to make Lum laugh, you Yes, know. Mom. That sister Simpson walked by the front of the store out there and seen me and went and called up my wife and told her she seen me carrying on with another woman. Well, why don't you just explain it to her what you done? Tell her it was a clothes dummy. I tried to, Cedric. She won't listen to me. Won't give me a chance to tell her nothing. <laughs> That's a good or knowing her, ain't it? Getting jealous of Mr. Dealback. Or Ms. Dillbeck. <laughs> I don't know what to call that dummy now with a dress and sunbonnet on and wearing a mustache. Well, I've been calling it Ms. Dillbeck since I put that dress on him. Well, he looks more like a woman than he does a man all right now. Yeah. If I could just get Elizabeth down here to see this thing why she'd understand. Sure, that's the thing to do. Get her down here. The well, trouble is she won't talk to me. Well, why don't you call her up, Cedric? Just tell her how the whole thing happened. Get her down here, and we'll just prove it to her. She'll listen to you. All right, I'll call her for you. Yeah, well, go ahead, go ahead, and just explain the whole thing to her. See, your ring is two shorts and a long, ain't it? Yeah, 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 that's what it is. Maybe when you and Clarabelle gets married, why, I can help you out sometime. Well, we never do have no arguments, so. Well, you ain't married yet, neither. Hello? 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 Well, don't just keep saying hello, Cedric. Well, that's all she's saying. Hello? Well, tell her who you are. Oh, this is Cedric Weehunt. Yes, Mom. Oh, tobly well, I reckon. How's yourself? Well, I do know. 
Yes, Ma. Tell her about me and Miss Dillbeck, Cedric. Oh. Well, what I called you up about, uh, you oughtn't to be mad at Mr. Abner, Miss Peabody. That was just Miss Dillbeck he had his arms around down here yesterday. Sure. Here. Arms around her and kiss her, too. Just what I done, yeah. Of course, I'm sure. Yes, Mom, I'd swear it in court or any place else. Sure, sure. And that's why we wanted me to call you and tell you... Hello? Hello? Well, I believe she hung up the phone, Mr. Abner. Well, I know she wouldn't let you explain it to her. Stubbornest one woman that ever drawed breath, I do Yonder know. Yonder comes Mr. Loom. Huh? Oh, yeah. Dog, is he late getting down this morning? Must have been working in his garden, I reckon. Yes, Mom. And then he gets the cow's milk and that stock fed of a morning he's put in half a day's work. Yeah, I don't know why he's never got married. Looks like he'd get tired of doing a woman's work that way. But on the other hand, when Elizabeth gets to acting up like she is now, dog as I begin to think he's lucky. Come in, Lom. Morning, Mr. Lom. Morning, morning. A little late this morning, Abner. I stopped by the barber shop. Oh, that's all right. We ain't been busy. Dog, his old mole sort of nicked you there, didn't he? Yeah, and crazy he gets to arguing politics and don't pay no attention to what he's doing. Huh. He's going to hurt somebody down there someday bad if that bunch of loafers down there don't quit agony moan. Takes it out on the feller he's shaving. Yeah, he run old Grandpappy Spears out of there with a razor the other day. Yeah, I heard about that, arguing about the war. Yeah, yeah. And they call it the Battle of Mose Moots Barbershop yeah. now. <laughs> I don't know why them fellers goes down there to argue. I get all the arguing I want at home. Elizabeth's still mad about me and Miss Dill back down here yesterday, Lum. She is, huh? Oh, my, yeah. I wish you'd quit calling that dummy Miss Dill back. Well, I can't call him Mr. Dill back and him with a dress on. Well, don't call him Dill back at all. Every time you say that, I think of that dad blamed Charlie Dill back over there at Cherry Hill. Charlie Dill back? Oh, I know him. Lives over here on the old Medford place now. I don't reckon I know him. You know the feller there was so much in the paper about last summer, breaking out of jail in there at the county seat? Breaking jail? Yeah, tell me he just broke them iron bars out of them windows just like this tissue paper. Walked out and nobody ever offered to go after him even. Well, I do know. What'd they have him locked up for? Oh, that ruckus he started over there at Cherry Hill to Fourth of July picnic got the sheriff down and tried to make him eat his own revolver. Well, he sure had an arm jumping on the sheriff. Well, he's awful high strung, they say. Sheriff tried to arrest him for whooping the Garland boys, and he got mad. Old man Bud Garland's boys? Yeah, whooped the whole family. Why, there's about eight of them boys. There ain't a one of them under six foot tall. Well, it'd have been easy to measure that day. They's all laid out there on the ground. Hmm. Huh. What was the trouble twixt them? Oh, they got in an argument because he hit their mule. Mule? You see, that oldest boy was running the flying jenny and had a mule pulling it, and Charlie Dilbeck was standing there watching, and the mule went by and kicked him. Well? Next time that mule circled by, he just squared off and hit him right twixt the eyes with his bar of fist. <laughs> that mule dropped to the ground like he'd been hit with a sledgehammer. For the land sake. Well, he must be a mean one, that fella. Oh, he is. Killed two or three men, they say. Yeah, well, I always think of Mr. Dill back in there at the bank when I see that dummy. And he was a little meek feller. He wouldn't harm nobody. No, no. He was all right, but that Charlie Dill back. Hot headedest feller that ever lived, I reckon. Well, that Elizabeth is a hot headedest feller I ever seen. Won't listen to you, huh? No. Cedric even tried to talk to her on the phone a while ago, and she wouldn't even listen to him. Well, I'll go there tonight and explain it all to her. I wish you would, Lum. She'll listen to you. Her all as has. Yeah, I don't know. Got a way with women, I reckon. You must have. <laughs> don't worry. I'll straighten out the whole thing. Looks like I can have more worries than every one feller to ever live. Elizabeth mad at me. These rabbits is costing us more to feed every day. And I don't think that idea of giving away a rabbit every time somebody buys a dollar's worth of merchandise is going to work out, Mom. You ain't. Well, I know. I tried to give five of them to Miss Bates this morning. She bought five dollars worth of merchandise, and I just insisted on her taking the rabbits, and 
she'd just cancel the whole order and walk right out of the store. I, Grannies, that reminds me, Abner. I ran across something last night. Sounded like a pretty good idea to me. I mean, what did I do with that thing? What, Ma? If I can find it. Oh, uh, advertisement I cut out of a farm journal I was looking at last night. Here it is, here. Huh. Hey, listen to this. Don't be a clock puncher. Huh. Don't be a wage slave. Be independent. Let our little furry friends work for you. Well. Make your living at home raising our pedigreed rabbits. Sells for $5 a pair. Write us at once for further details. $5 a pair? That's what it says here. You know how many of them we got this morning? 142. I just counted them a while ago. For goodness sakes. Well, that's, uh, 71 pairs of rabbits. Yeah, yeah, at $5 a pair, how much does that figure, Lom? Well, it'll be five times 71. Five ones is five, and five times seven is 35. $355. Granny's, is that right? $355? Yeah, that's what it is, yours the world. Well, what are we complaining about? I ain't, that's what I'm telling you. We're standing right in the middle of prosperities and never even noticed. Well. <laughs> We're going into that rabbit raising business on a big scale now. Our troubles is over. Well, Abner. good for us. <laughs> good Our for troubles us. is over. Yes, sir. Did you hear that, Cedric? Yes, Mom. I was listening to every word of it. Had a fortune in rabbits and Wait never noticed. Wait a minute. That was our ring. <laughs> I'll get it. Doggy, that's the best news I've heard. Yet. Hello. Jot them down, Storm. No, this is Lum Eddards talking. Well, he's here. Do you want to talk to him? Elizabeth, call up to apologize, I reckon. Why, all day, I reckon. How she knows I'm rich off a rabbit. You want to do what? Rabbit King. Uh, who is this? Abner. Who? King of the Belgian Hair. Oh, my goodness. Yes, sir, I'll tell him. Goodbye. Abner, you better get out of here. Huh? That was Charlie Dilbeck. Said Elizabeth called him and told him you was carrying on with Miss Dilbeck, and he thinks it's his wife. And uh, you'd better hide. You better hide and stay hid. To... Granny's. I hope he runs in the right direction. <laughs> well, well, our old friends down in Pine Ridge always seem to sometimes have the faculty of getting into trouble and then getting out of it again, don't they? And Lum and Abner want me to remind all of you that when you're troubled with headaches or acid indigestion, that Alka-Seltzer can help you get out of it. You know, the way we live, the things we eat, the nervous strain and constant tension, hurried, unbalanced meals, late hours and loss of sleep, why, it's no wonder that we have to help nature straighten us out every once in a while. It's no wonder that we suffer from time to time with excess stomach acidity. But if you have a package of Alka-Seltzer tablets handy, relief from your discomfort should be yours in short order. Yes, when you drink a sparkling glass of Alka-Seltzer, you help yourself to real relief for upset stomach, acid indigestion, distress after meals, and morning after misery. Now, that's because Alka-Seltzer's alkalizing properties help to neutralize quickly and pleasantly the excess stomach acidity, usually the immediate cause of your distress. No wonder these modern alkalizing tablets are used by more people than any other product of their kind on the market. Try them yourself. You can get Alka-Seltzer at all drugstores, either by the package or by the glass at the soda fountain. Be wise, friends. Alkalize with Alka-Seltzer, and you'll feel better fast. Be sure to listen to Lum and Abner Thursday night. Now, that's day after tomorrow at this same time. Lum and Abner are now on the air every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday evening at 7.15 p.m. over this station. Lou Crosby speaking. See you Thursday. This is the National Broadcasting Company. <laughs>